Francisco, all engines. Roger. Okay, Fado has it look. Looks good here, flight. Good agreement. Okay, Bruce, how do you look? That's one thing. Looks good. Okay, Captain. Let's go here on the ground. Okay, let's go with one, Captain. Oh, here's the way without a problem. We are, uh, we are venting something out uh, into the uh, into space. Roger, we copy your venting. Stand by, 13. We're looking at it. Okay, Aquarius, you're looking good. Not long after the Wright brothers first skittered across the dunes at Kill Devil Hills, pilots, much like the Apollo 13 astronauts, learned that there was really only one reliable sensory input they could trust in flight vision. And for those pioneer aviators, the cockpit was an essential viewpoint. Situational awareness and navigation depended on seeing terrain and viewing landmarks from their open cockpits. Seeing is believing, and those early pilots learned to believe and fly what they could see. A few very basic instruments were first introduced into the cockpit in the 1920s. Over the past century, the extraordinary evolution of airframes, power plants, and instruments have enabled us to fly further, higher, and faster today than ever before. But the one factor that hasn't changed is how we kill ourselves. No matter how you look at it, they just ran out of luck. They ran out of, of rather than luck, they ran out of visibility. Worldwide, most aviation fatalities result from controlled flight into terrain, or CFIT. You know, when you look at the domino chain, the last domino that falls is controlled flight into terrain. Many of these tragedies occur in poor visibility and at night. However, this often fatal outcome, CFIT, is most often caused by inadvertent flight into IMC conditions, or a total loss of visual reference with terrain. Inadvertent IMC is a bunch of dominoes before that, a bunch of dominoes. When you go inadvertent IMC, your stress level goes right through the roof to the point where you're focusing on maybe an attitude indicator, maybe an airspeed indicator, but you're not scanning, you're not being effective, you can't hear anything. There is no communication you can hear because your oral cues are one of the first that goes in a high stress environment, so you can't communicate. Um, you, in, unless you acquire, uh, unless you're lucky, unless you acquire visual reference, or unless by some way you're able to transition to instruments effectively, right now, it, those dominoes keep falling, and ultimately, see fit is the end result. If I can see terrain, if I can see it with the naked eye, if I can see it with the sensor, I can avoid it. It's it's not it's not rocket science. In fact, the FAA's Joint Safety Analysis Team, or JSAT, identified affordable look-ahead devices like EBS as one of the very best ways to prevent sea fit. We've come here to introduce what many pilots consider the ultimate advance in aviation safety and technology, MAXVIS Enhanced Vision System, or EVS. MAXVIS is the only company in the world dedicated exclusively to the design, development, and manufacture of EVS. The one company that produces affordable EVS units and puts this life-saving technology within the reach of most any pilot. MaxViz is more than just a product. Hey, man. How are you? How are you? MaxViz is a system integration company that ensures the design, installation, and operation of every EBS unit is perfectly matched, finely tuned, and rigorously tested to complement the unique attributes of each aircraft. 
every phase is designed to minimize parallax distortion and to optimize the truest, most accurate presentation of terrain, obstructions, and visual cues that you rely on when flying in normal visual conditions. So this housing is unique to every aircraft? Yes, to, to every, every, every aircraft, every right. STC, is that correct? Correct. You design that, figure out, use your laser scanner, figure out the contours? Yes, we figure out the contours. We have the basic uh, shape of the canister housing. Instead of using substructure and composite fairings and all that, we just use one piece. This is made out of a solid piece of 6061 aluminum. They take our design, put it in a CNC machine, and build it for us for each aircraft. MaxViz EDS is certified by governmental regulatory agencies for installations on over 200 different aircraft models and types with STC approvals. Certification projects are 24-7 at MaxViz, as new aircraft are continually tested and added to the list in coordination with our STC development partners. So this is a 15... From the affordable dual wavelength EVS 600 to the advanced capabilities of the state-of-the-art EVS 1500, MaxViz has custom EVS solutions for GA, business, and rotary wing aircraft to fulfill the one mission every pilot shares to get home safely. Well, I'm certainly going to be using mine to get home tonight. Oh, you will. I'm so, sure you will. <laughs> thanks very much. Appreciate you it. You bet. You. We know that the loss of visual reference in conditions of low light or poor visibility is a common cause of CFIT. Many pilots experience spatial disorientation in these conditions or are convinced that visual illusions are real. And while TAWS, GPS, TCAS, and other improved cockpit displays all contribute to make flying safer, trusting those technologies still comes down to an act of faith. Max Viz transforms that act of faith into a proactive belief. When a pilot has an improved view of terrain, structures and obstructions, at night and through clouds, smoke, haze, and light fog. From helicopters to small single-engine GA aircraft, from commercial aircraft to business jets. Whether you're flying in congested metropolitan airspace or navigating low level through a remote mountain pass, MaxViz EVS can make flying safer, easier, more efficient, cost-effective, and a whole lot more fun. Because ultimately, it's about getting home safely.